Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. In this video we're going to talk about a software called uh, Visual Paradigm and uh, in this video we're going to make a data flow diagram or DFD uh, with this software. So the first thing that you should do is you have to go to the tab that called Diagram and from there you will choose New and then there is a list of all the diagrams that you're able to make here and if you didn't find uh, the diagram that you want because you see the list is uh, very lengthy you can just search a part of the name or the full name here but right now the data flow diagram is the first one so I'm just gonna choose this and then I'm gonna click next so you can either choose um, this one that are already made and you can make change to them but since I want to um, go through all the process I'm just going to choose a blank one and then again click next here you will choose the name I'm just going to um, keep the data flow D and then OK so um, an interesting feature is that whenever you go and hover over uh, each one of the items, it will show you exactly what they do and what they mean. And these are actually the components of uh, your DFD uh, or uh, diagram flow, uh, sorry, data flow diagram. So the first one is the process. So process is actually the main part of your um, system or the place that you do the data manipulation or uh, the calculation happens. So you will have a couple of these or in some of the system you might have one. So the one that we're going to create right now is going to have one because we want to make a small um, diagram. So then you have the external entity. External entity uh, are the ones, the objects that are related to your uh, process. They can be um, system or they can be a user. And so all of those are going to go to the to your external entity. So any object that is related to your process are going to be your external entity. And then you have the data store, which you store your information in. And then you have the data flow. And these data flow connects the data store to process or external entity uh, to process and it will show that um, uh, what is the action that happens uh, what what does the external entity does to the process or what does the process does to the external entity and you can either have um, bi-directional or you can just have one direction so now let's create a, um, a diagram for a barber shop for example, uh, there is a barber shop that have a system, and they are making appointment with it, and um, their staff want to accept the appointment or cancel the appointment, and you want to save those information in um, in a, a data database or a data store. So the first thing that you do, you just drag and drop it here. And, and then you can double click on it and change the name of the process. I'm just going to say uh, Barbershop. And then after that, I can drag and drop an external entity here. So this is going to be my um, customer. And I will have another external entity, which are going to be the staff. And I want uh, a data store to um, have all of my data of the customers in there. So I'm going to name it customer info just going to put it here and so you can either drag and drop the data flow but the easier way is just to um, choose this icon and 
you can say if you want the bi-directional these are the ones that are used frequently you can either choose bi-directional or you can go uh, with one direction i'm going to choose one direction here and um, so this is the direction to the process so that means it will go from my entity to my process um, so what does my customer can, can do to the system they can book an appointment oops sorry so here you will choose the name of your process so here the name of my process is barbershop so I would do that and now I have my flow so here I will uh, write down the name of the uh, action that happens between my customer and the barber shop, which is going to be um, book appointments. And then I can go to the barber shop again. I will choose that. And you can choose any of these. I'm going to go with the one that goes to the external entity because I want to connect my flow. Uh, my data flow to my customer and I will write customer so it will know which one it has to connect to and press enter it's going to go on top of it but you can just drag it down here and if you double click on it then you can write in it so here I'm going to write um, show available available time and then um, I have staff and I have a data storage so what does what do my what does my staff can do to the barbershop um, system so they can either cancel an appointment or they can view um, uh, the uh, appointment of the customer so this is going to the process which is the barber shop here they can um, they can cancel the appointments or The other way when it's going to the staff they can view the appointments yeah view the appointments and then we have a database here which is going to store all of the appointments of the customer so to an external entity it's actually not an entity it's going to be a data um, it's not bi-directional it's going to be one direction oh let me see if I can actually connect it to the other one as well. Yeah, so I have to write the customer info and now it is connected, so I don't need this. I can just delete this. So yeah. store customer data and so this is it um, and also we can just go through one of the diagrams that are already exist so you will know uh, how does it look like so if you want to open a new one you just go to the new again and data flow diagram next so let's see which one of these can talk about this one so 
this is a food system, food ordering system. As you can see, there are more than one process here. We have three process here. One of them is order food, one of them is generate reports, and the other one is order inventory. And then it has the customer and uh, which can order and it will get the bill from the process and then uh, it will send the order to the kitchen so this is another entity and then we have two data storage here one is for order one is for inventory and mm, order can order and inventory can generate report and and they will send it to the manager and manager can order inventory and order inventory goes to the supplier and uh, inventory details will go inside of our um, inventory database. So this is the more complicated structure of a data flow diagram. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in next video. Bye!